Hello guys, welcome to Skyrim Special Edition. This game just came out. It's a graphical remaster of Skyrim. It's available on PC, Xbox and PlayStation. If you already own Skyrim on Steam and all three of the DLCs, you get this for free. It'll be a separate game in your Steam library. I happen to have uh, all of the DLC for the old game, so I got this for free. I already played through the introduction because I figured you'd rather see the open world and what it looks like now. There are no new content in this special edition, it's uh, just remastered graphics. But if you buy this special edition, all three DLC are included in it. So let's jump into the game. This is where I left off, just finished the uh, introduction. Let's take a look at the setting. Well, this is my little Nord Viking, I found this helmet. So I'm running the game on Ultra settings so this is the best that it can look let's go back to a first person view and this is a Did river run talking to Sven? maybe not maybe never mind but i would stay away from him if i were you now why is that fendal riverwood's agreeable enough i suppose for a nord village he's a bard so he says. Occasionally he finds time to do his job here at the mill. Thinks his ballads and sonnets are going to convince Camilla Valerius to marry him. As if she would say yes. An intelligent, beautiful woman like her wouldn't fall for that nonsense. I hope. Sounds like he's jealous. <laughs> so he wants us uh, to help him get rid of her other suitor. So we could get some archery training here, but uh, never mind this. What we really want to do is we want to go out and take a look at the open world. If you haven't played Skyrim before, it's a massive open world. You see the clouds moving over the horizon here, and the snowy peaks. And it's chock full of uh, dungeons and stuff that you can investigate. And this is the water effect, the new water. And I've also seen some salmon jumping up and down. Where I had a little uh, waterfall, but I can't remember where it was. Uh, maybe over there. Let's go for a swim. To see how that looks. Ah, here are the little fish. I did see some of them jumping up from the water. So let's move past these felled trees. And we'll swim to the other side here. There's an eagle in the background. Nice little waterfall. Again, the water effects much better. And also the, the mountain ranges just looks gorgeous. Uh, and the lighting, I can't remember if there's this kind of lighting. I don't think there was in the standard edition. Alright, let's head f uh, along the road here. And there's a deer. I really want to uh, to get some environmental effects like rain or snow. <laughs> I also want to get to snow so I can see if uh, we leave footprint in the snow because you didn't in the standard edition unless you got a mod for it. And of course you can mod uh, the special edition as well. Uh, here's a, a wolf coming at us. We get a little fight. Execution style. <laughs> I'll grab all of the stuff it's got. Wolf pelt. Let's take a look at the wolf itself. It's a nice looking beast. Let's put back the bloody sword and climb up this mountain a little bit. We've got a sunset there in the background. Oh, we can also see a city. Maybe that's a uh, white run there. It might be. The visible distance is extremely far. Uh, I don't know if we can climb up here or not. Let's give it a shot. After all, this uh, game is entirely about exploring and the excellent quests, especially the uh, the guild quest lines like the Thieves Guild, the Dark Brotherhood, and the Warrior Guild and all that stuff. Loot the dog. Put away the bloody sword. Uh, that's where we came from. I'm looking back down on Rio Run. I guess we're not going to get up there. So a little trail over here maybe, we can go up. 
So we'll do that. But look at this. It's just an amazing view that the wolf is completely uh, interrupting. So I'm running this on ultra settings and I do get a little bit of a lag once in a while even though I, am, I have a pretty powerful computer and it's installed on an SSD drive. So you, depending on your, your PC specifications you might not be able to run it that smoothly with uh, this ultra settings. But then again, I'm also recording in 60 FPS, so maybe that's what's uh, interfering a little bit and causing a little bit of lag. But look at this, it's just really amazing looking. It really makes me want to just uh, get back into Skyrim again and just explore. And the view distance is just amazing. You see, I've got a little bit of lag here right now. And then it's gone. I'm not sure what causes it. Maybe they'll, uh, they'll fix that. Or maybe it's just my computer that can't uh, record and, and play at the same time. But it just looks amazing. And look here, the wind is blowing over the snow. And you've got the sunset in the background and the textures are much better. It's a fantastic looking game right now. I say that some of the walking animations and the animations for the characters look a little bit static compared to uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt as, a, as an example because Skyrim obviously is a pretty old game. But still. Just walking around in the environment here and, and exploring is pretty good looking. Yeah, here's a bandit. And I hit the snow. I parried that one. And I've got also one shooting at us from there. I'm out of stamina now. So he's down. Uh, there are three of them. Maybe we should go for the, the bow guy down there. of this reckless swinging, it's no good. So just one guy left. Maybe you can hit him in the back. Go this low. <laughs> Drink a potion. Yeah, let's do that. Luckily that stops the game. <laughs> and I don't remember the quick uh, way to drink potions and stuff like that. Let's we'll quaff that one. It should be enough. So we missed that swing, so we get in the killing blow there. I think we look more like a Roman legionnaire than we look like uh, a Nordling. So he's got some gold, thank you for that. But yeah, look at this. It's just a really great atmosphere. In Skyrim everything is uh, according to your level, it scales. So that's why we could take out three bandits, even though we just began the game. And don't use magic at all. Let's just head into the tower, just explore a little bit. Grab that purse. We should be able to get a pretty good view from up here. More loot, gold and some other stuff. Put away the, the salt there, the zoom out. So here we are in Skyrim. If you haven't played Skyrim at all before, now would be a good time to do it. Because even though it's a fairly old game by now, it looks amazing. And you get all of the, the free separate DLCs included in the special edition. And as I mentioned earlier, if you already have the standard Skyrim game with all free DLC, you'll get this for free. It will be a separate game in your Steam library that you can just install. And I actually got it uh, yesterday, which was uh, before it came out. So it should be there for you to download and play. Now we can check if we'll uh, leave footprints in the snow here, or not. No, we don't. <laughs> How can they make a special edition and not leave snow footprints? <laughs> We're gonna have to get a mod for that. 
if you want to leave footprints in the snow. That's always a nightmare. Why do I have to get a mod to do that? It should just be standard. Looks like an old temple. Bring out the sword. Uh, we got free incoming. You can see that on a handy radar screen there. And she swings and misses. Uh, she didn't miss with the second one though. Alright, this might not pan out too well. He's dual building. Uh, we get him here. Don't mess with the Roman Legion. So somebody's shooting at us, as we can see up there. Can I use some magic? So equip that on the left mouse button. See how magic looks. Spill effects. He's hiding behind the uh, column there. <laughs> You're looking the wrong way, man. There you go. Have some burning effects. Magic has low. Yeah, we get that. That looks pretty good too. That would be nice. Yeah, we actually can create a little bit of burn effect there in the snow. Now if we create a little puddle from the melted snow and ice, that would be excellent. That's I really like the effect of the wind there and the lighting. Just now we can go into the temple. Black Falls Temple. And take a look at how all of this looks inside. I want to equip the sword. So we've got magic on the right mouse button and a swing at the sword on the left. That should be good. A dead rat. We've started the golden claw. That we need to get in the temple. But I think the textures look better in here as well. So what happened here? It's just a dead bandit. Oh. <laughs> Incinerated. So where's the other one? Over here. There we go. Don't mess with this sword fighting sorcerer. Uh, that's a uh, lock picking. Got a little bit of gold there. So let's hit down. And take a look. At the inside of this dungeon. It does look a lot better. Than what it used to. Let's sneak. After all, I'll probably be playing this character after I'm done making this video anyway. I said, really? Uh, I'm itching to run around in the outside <laughs> on those snowy peaks. See if we can uh, sneak up on this guy. I guess you'll get a damage bonus for magic attacks as well. You know what? Let's equip the bow. And yeah, we'll hit him. In the head, if we can. I'm not doing uh, that much damage with the bow. Alright, let's get the uh, iron sword out again here. There we go. 
no match for us. Nice looking, uh, looks like a puzzle. Just got hit by a lot of arrows. So I guess we have to uh, move around some stuff over here. There's a snake down there. So what are the clues? There's a head there with a snake and a snake up there, nothing in the middle and then I'm not even sure what that is. Maybe it's a, a fish on the right. At least we can move, so that would be maybe a snake and a snake and a fish. That worked out. Head through here. Book, thief book, increase the pickpocket. Nothing there, less a soul gem, and now I can head down here. So, yeah, if you're looking to uh, get back into an open world sword and board game RPG, uh, you could head back into Skyrim. Now that it's better looking. Uh, if you haven't played uh, The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, you can do that. That's uh, really a masterpiece. Skyrim is also a masterpiece. They're different in the way that Skyrim scales with your level. So it doesn't really matter where you uh, go first. Whereas in uh, The Witcher, uh, everything is handcrafted. Everything was put there uh, and at a specific uh, level. Both games are are excellent in, in different ways. There's a little spider whip we have to get through here. Yeah. A levitating boss spider. So just run around in circles, I guess. Increased our destruction. Oh, I need to get a potion. I don't really have uh, the hotkeys or anything like that in my memory. So I just started playing again. So I don't really know how to do that. So I guess we don't get our health back straight away. It takes a little bit of time to regenerate after we eat the potion. Let's grab all of this stuff. Is it that guy's talking? <laughs> Abel the Swift. Yeah, I'll get him down. You killed him. Now cut me down before anything else shows up. Where's the golden claw? I know how it works. The claw, the markings, the door, and the hall of stories. I know how they all fit together. Help me down, and I'll show you. You won't believe the power the Nords have hidden there. Does it look like I can move? You have to cut me down first. It's coming loose. I can feel it. You fool. Why should I share the treasure with anyone? <laughs> it's running away. <laughs> Burned on the back. Yeah, why should you share the treasure? Because you would be dead otherwise. So where is it? There it is. Golden Claw. He's got hide armor and all kinds of other stuff. I don't know if that's better than what we have. Uh, let's just grab all of it. We can always uh, drop it. Let's take a look at that golden claw. Here it is. Move it around. Looks nice. Looks like a talon. 
So I wonder where that goes. Um, so we ran after him, so he was probably running the right direction. I'm not gonna bother looting anything. Let's just uh, get this quest moving on. Oh shit. What do you want? <laughs> Maybe that sword's better. And, ah! Maybe I should ponder that after we kill these guys. Are they hurt? Backtracking. So we're low on health. Oh, yes, I also had an axe. It's pretty cool. It has to be one-handed though, so I want to use magic. See, that's uh, 20 damage, and that's 8, so yeah. I'll go with this. Ah, it's two-handed. Forget about it, I want to be able to cast the other stuff. Maybe we'll just use the axe anyway. It looks pretty cool. Is that a pressure plate? Will I get hit with something? Ah! <laughs> Apparently so. <laughs> Luckily I just backtracked out or it would have hit us in the face. Alright, let's head down here. Maybe we should uh, eat something. It is regenerating the health just fairly slowly. Now that ah, they're getting up, then let's just wait up here. Oh, surprise hit it. Ah, I just completely missed and used all of the stamina. There we go. Luckily, they're coming one at a time. And that's down, but the other one's shooting arrows. He's cheating. Is he coming? Hello. Hello. Ah, he hit us. All right, we need to uh, get some magic going. Get some health back. There we go. All right, let's run for it. Heavy strike. There we go. He's down. Maybe we should check for loot. Grab all of that stuff. Ah, uh, that doesn't look uh, all that fun. There's a chest up here. And of course we have to do some lock picking to get at that treasure. 17 golds. Maybe the, the loot scales after your level as well. Can't remember, to be honest. Uh, Alright, save the game. Give a shot at this. That went well. And yeah, nobody's coming out reanimated from the uh, tombs. Put it down here. Right in the face. <laughs> and then in the groin, and then in the face. That's how we do it. Same procedure as last year. Let's grab the gold. Ah, I didn't even see that guy coming. Ah, he's got a, a sword and board. This is gonna be tougher. <laughs> we just hit him in the leg there. He wasn't expecting that. Amethyst and some golds. Maybe we should sneak. But then again, I don't think it matters much if they just get activated when we uh, step right next to their graves. Here's one more. Ah. 
Ooh, loot. Just grab everything there. Have a look at the cave. A little waterfall. So we came out of there. Yeah, we came through there. So we have to go through this little cave entrance. And just save the game real quick. So you never know what might happen. This is eerie and green. It's the mushrooms that glow. And more loot. Let's grab everything. There's a scroll of fireball also. There's a little guy down there. Running at us now. There we go. <laughs> Going for a sleigh ride. So now we're back down here. Got a nice view up the hole there. So I guess we just go down. To the bottom here. And there's more loot. Ah, that was not really what I was trying to accomplish. There we go. More golden lockpicks. Can we go through here? Nope, that's uh, dead end. So maybe we're supposed to go up. Okay, go through the waterfall. No, let's head back up. Did we come from there? No, we came from over there, I think. Save the game. Uh, there's a guard over there. I just spotted him. Got an increased two hand level. Why are we not hitting this guy? Uh, I'd lagged a little bit actually. He was already dead. <laughs> He's just standing up. Really. Black Falls Sanctum, that must be uh, the end of the road. Let's see if the game here as well. Maybe we get a boss fight. Can we just go uh, past something like this? It did get hit a little bit, but it didn't hurt quite as much as I expected. Looks like they're doing rituals in here. It's got a pretty long reach, this axe. back up. Maybe have some magic that can do it. Alright, so we added it to uh, the Q menu. Back up to full. I 
two uh, favorite are battle axe as well. We can uh, get it on the Q menu here. Open up the door. Ah, that's where we need the golden claw, probably. Do anything. Ah, uh, we have to arrange them somehow. There's gotta be clues for that. Uh, I think there's nothing here to look at. Maybe the claw itself. Here it is. Yeah, something there. Zoom in on it. See, we have a bear at the top and a butterfly and an owl in the bottom. We need a butterfly here. And a bear. Well, that should do it. Does it work? Yeah, it's coming down there. So deeper into the dungeon we go. That's gonna save the game. I'm expecting a boss fight. <laughs> I'm not sure. I can't really remember. Uh, some bats there. There's a nice looking little area of the cave. Uh, why did I fall down? Less looking at the scenery and <laughs> more trading carefully. Uh, maybe I'll jump over there. There we go. Ah, here's loot. And something more. Word of power. Unrelenting force. So we completed this. A little... Uh, Twist. Let's look at the wall. Oh, something opened up. <laughs> is, it, is the <laughs> Draco Overlord? All right, let's uh, see if we can uh, not get hit by him. He's got the same reach as we do, so yeah, he's hitting us. Oh, he's staggered. We get a couple of good shots in there. Right, we need to uh, get some healing going. Get some potions. Uh, run away a little bit. Uh, he's got the uh, Fushul Da thing going there. Uh, he's almost down. Uh, he's staggered. Ah, hit him just once. There we go. <laughs> Maybe he has some good loot. He's got a dragon stone. I can't remember what that's for. Alright, we'll grab all of that stuff. And we'll go to town on, on the chest. Shield and Ring of Minor Alteration, Battle Axe, and a Helmet. It's magical. And some other stuff. And then we should be able to just leave the dungeon from here somehow. Maybe this staircase over here. Let's put away the Battle Axe. Probably don't need it anymore. Ah, pull the handle. It's a handy little exit. So we don't have to backtrack. More loot. Can't say no to that. And somebody placed a wreath there. 
and a skull and some other stuff. I think we'll just leave that alone, not disturb the peace of the dead. So now we made it back out. Then it's night time. Got a nice full moon there. And a starry sky. It's a nice view. Alright guys, that's the game. Skyrim Special Edition. Now if you buy it, it includes all three DLCs. And if you already had the uh, old version and all of the DLC on Steam, you'll uh, get the Special Edition for free. It'll already be in your game library. The game's also available on Xbox and PlayStation. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.